Bonjour. Bonjour. So welcome to day 10, 10 ways to invest in real estate. Mm -hmm. Yes, it actually went by really fast. Well, I find that they always go by very fast, but today we're talking about cottage rentals and Airbnbs. Yes, so have you considered uh, doing some sort of Airbnb strategy or buying a, a, a cottage to rent out and earn some income? So those are two fun projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a cottage ourselves and it's been quite interesting seeing it. I know some successful investors that do uh, Airbnb or furnished rentals like 28 day rentals or some of its short term. Yeah, and that actually makes me think I actually know quite a few people that have cottages and who have actually never thought of renting them out. No, they just leave them empty. They leave them empty like three quarters of the year. Um, cause obviously you can't go unless you're retired, you can't go to your cottage all the time and then, well, it's not really your cottage anymore, but why not take advantage of that space that's empty, um, all that time and rent it out. It's amazing what, um, cottage rentals are going for, um, uh, these days. And when I yes. actually told a few of the people that have those cottages empty three quarters of the years, they, they, uh, were very surprised. <laughs> <They> <laughs> there are insurance considerations, mm -hmm. liability, of course. Yes. You have to make it kind of um, dummy proof, let's say. So, uh, and then you want to include certain things like Wi Fi is huge. I know people want to escape the city, but they want to stay connected. Yes. And even when we go to the cottage, we still. Yeah, work. we complain. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the Wi Fi? The signal's bad. Yes. So that's something to consider when buying a property for a rent, short term rental. But it can be another good way to invest in real estate. It's amazing how the even the cottage market has exploded. Yes. Uh, it's, it's even hard to find a cottage. It's hard to rent a cottage. It's hard to buy a cottage. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but maybe there's a room in your house if you're that adventurous that you can rent out and turn into an Airbnb mm -hmm. or maybe there's like a granny suite or a space for a granny suite that you rent out as an Airbnb. So check yes. with your town or city. Uh, they each have different rules, but uh, tons of opportunities to, to earn some money. And I'm actually surprised as well at the spaces that people are renting out on air. Yeah. B and B. I'm like, like a bare wow. basement. Would yeah. you like to rent my basement? It's been painted white. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah, we did actually see what well, it didn't yeah. have any ceiling and no flooring. In Bar Haven, I was like, whoa, okay, well, I guess to each their his own. Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if somebody wants to rent it out, that's fine too. It's just. Uh, I'm just surprised at all the ways that you can make money in real estate. Yeah. It's uh, mind boggling. Absolutely. So that's it for our series, yes. 10 ways to invest in real estate. We hope we that hope this helped you guys out. Yes. And next is going to be uh, OPM. So we're going to talk about other people's money, how you can use other people's money to create win-win situations for yourself and for the person that's lending you the money. So, and I think we're going to do reels. So we're going to have fun and Yay. dance around and point I don't at know things. what those are. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll, you'll discover what reels are and maybe you'll, you'll, I'll fall in love with reels. Yeah, you'll be all about the reels. That's it. So happy investing. Bye-bye.